What is good, YouTube? Welcome to the channel. If you're new, make sure you subscribe, enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like. Today, we definitely got an interesting one. That's because we're going to be looking at this figure right here. And this is the bootleg version of the Boy from the Future Trunks. Before I even jump into the review, there's a couple different reasons I had picked this up. Um, one being that I had already bought two of the official trunks way back in my old collection before I sold it. Both of them trunks, I paid probably like 71 together, but I got them in a deal with the Vegeta with it. But all together, I think them them alone was like 70 something. I had did that twice. I got one one time and then went back and got it another time. Both versions I had was absolutely horrible. QC, the arms kept falling off. The legs were so loose, it couldn't even hold a pose. So this time I wanted to do something different. And bro, I'm trying to tell you right now, don't ever let anybody try to deter you away from doing something if it's if it's easier for you when, when it comes to your pockets or if it's smarter for you when it comes to your pockets. Don't ever try to follow a trend when everybody's trying to say something's good when in reality it's not because that figure has so many problems with it. Um, it did look good overall, but the QC was just horrible on it. Like, there's no getting around that, and everybody liked to sugarcoat it or act like it didn't have problems. Bro, that figure was horrible, straight up. Second reason is the figure arts market has definitely changed. Um, when it comes to bootlegs, we now have the Monocle Fit. We got Kong Studios. We got, um, I think, Black Hole Toys is another one that just came out so many different options of going third party um that technically wouldn't even be a bootleg so i definitely will be interested to see how this thing holds up compared to the actual original one i just knew personally i was not about to waste 67 dollars again for another time for to get a piece of junk i just wasn't finna do that i did grab this it's gonna be very interesting to see how it holds up compared to an actual figure arts or compared to the official and i did have the official twice so i should have enough knowledge to see if it holds up or not now as far as recommending this figure to y'all i'm not gonna be doing that so even when i do the review i'm not gonna recommend a bootleg to y'all because at the end of the day this is not an official figure i wouldn't feel right doing that because mine could be perfectly fine like it could be stiff joints all the joints move perfectly the paint's good on it the paint's applicated perfectly but y'all could order one to be absolute trash it could fall apart like it's kind of a win-lose situation with a bootleg so i'm not gonna recommend this to y'all i'm just gonna give y'all the information in my review and whether you want one you can get one if you don't you don't um, I'm just going to give y'all that information so y'all can be aware if you do want to buy one and want to go that route, you could do that. But I definitely will not be recommending it to y'all because I wouldn't feel right. So without further ado, let's go and get into the figure itself. And here we are on the outside of the box. I ain't even going to lie. This box is pretty much straight up the same as the actual SH Figure Arts box. The image, everything on it. Even the print image on here is not fade or nothing like that it's actually very clear crisp even has a shine to it which is not present on the actual figure arts one but as far as on the outside of the box the big difference with this is obviously you don't have sh figure arts on the side of the box and you don't get any of the company logos on the bottom you do get dragon ball z um and that's pretty much it for the front of the box so we do get a product image of the figure so but anything else on there it's not gonna be present consider it's a bootleg coming in on the side we do have at the bottom SH figure arts, so they do have it on the side right here, but when it comes to this side, again, they have it on the bottom, but they don't have it going up and down this. So I'm not expecting too much there anyways, cause it's a bootleg at the end of the day. Coming to the back of the box, um, again, super clear, which is crazy, cause usually these things are super faded when they make them, but this box is super clear, almost like it is the official one. You get pretty much everything you have on the official one. The only thing that I think would be missing is band on name codes usually right here, and then on top of that, there's usually some warnings and of course that's missing. And that'll pretty much do it for the outside of the box. I wasn't expecting too much considering it is a bootleg figure so it's not gonna have all that official stuff on it. Um, That's how they would get in trouble or something like that. But without further ado, let's go and get to the figure. So here we go, man. We jumping straight into the accessories. Now I ain't gonna lie, it does come with every last accessory that the actual official release does have. However, off rip of putting all these together, I did notice some, some issues and some differences compared to the actual original one. And we're about to get into that right now. We're going to start off first with the actual first head sculpt that we do have. And that is an extra trunks head sculpt. And I'm not going to lie. For what it is, it actually is really good. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, the only bad thing I see on it is, as you can see, it has bad paint running. Like, it's very clumpy. You don't see it when it's not in, like, bright, bright light. But when you do put it up close to some light, have it up close to your face, you can really see it. But this nonetheless does come off and you do have that face. However, I can't say that these face sculpts, bro, perfect. I mean, I'm not even gonna lie to you. This literally looks just like Trunks. And I ain't gonna lie, I think this honestly looks better than the actual one itself. It is actually different. 
Um, I wish I had the original to show you, but this face right here does to me look better than the official one. That's just my opinion. So you nonetheless do have this extra head and it does look decent. The only thing on it is bad for me is the hair above the neck. It definitely is perfect. Going into the other hair piece we do have, and again, another issue where you can see that clumping on the paint itself. It's really bad, like you can see it right there. I don't know if it's just the way they painted it and it was rushed or what, but it is not a smooth paint job. It, again, it's not that bad when you're not close to it, but once you get up close, you really look at it, it does look a little disgusting. So that is unfortunate, but nonetheless, you do have that extra hair piece and we will be trying some of this stuff on to see if it does fit or not. I feel like it wouldn't be fair if I didn't. We do have the sword. And again, I think this is another situation where something was done wrong. I don't think that this is painted. I think this is supposed to be blue. If I'm not mistaken, the sword is actually done pretty nicely. I'm not gonna lie to you. Again, you do have a little bit of spots on it, but it's actually not too bad. It does have a chrome finish on it. Um, This itself is, again, this is done, I'll say decent. It's it's good all the way up until this part. You can see the run marks on there. It's a little ugly up top, I'm not gonna lie, but that's only in this area. Rest of it looks decent. Um, Again, I think this is supposed to be blue. So I think this is painted wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments, but nonetheless, you do have the sword and the sheath itself. We do have the actual buckle that connects to the sword. And I can tell you right now, I'm gonna have fun trying to get this to work because it is super stiff. Um, I will be able to heat it up and fix it, whatever. But I can tell you right now, on the original, I had to super glue it in place. So I probably had to do the same with this. I ain't gonna lie to you. Especially with not knowing if this is gonna fit in the holes or not, we are gonna see when I try to do it. But you do have that. And again, I do notice, like I said, on this, this is definitely the wrong color. This is purple and it's supposed to be a light blue. It is painted decently for what it is, but I'll probably end up going back and repainting the right color because that's just weird to me. But nonetheless, you do have that. And coming into the faces, again, they did good with the faces. I'm not finna lie to you. I feel like, honestly, that's my opinion. And then another thing I'm noticing off rip with this figure is the size of it. The size of the other trunks, the official one, is way too, I don't know how to explain it. It's the same height as the Gokus and all that, but the overall size is just too, I don't know, it's too big. I don't know how to explain it, but it looks like they scaled them down with this figure. So to me, it looks a little better, I ain't gonna lie, but you can see that we do have a resting face and they actually did pretty good, man. The 3D print is there. The eyes don't look weird or nothing like that, but you do nonetheless have that resting face option. Coming into this face, we do have a yelling face. Now I ain't gonna lie, I don't know if it's the way the tongue is painted. Yeah, it's gotta be there. <laughs> This time, like, like he's sticking his tongue out. I don't know what's going on with it. The face look really good. I'm not gonna lie. They definitely nailed it, but the way that that's painted, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to look at the original and and see what they did wrong on this. But the tongue look a little weird. I think the tongue is just too bright. I think that's what it might be. But nonetheless, the face looks really good. Y'all can see the lines actually around the eyes and all that. So the face is actually looking good. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know what this is on top of it. Looks like there's still molding left on the face itself. It definitely is weird, but nonetheless, the face is done good. So you do have that yellow face. Then you have your teeth gritting face, and I ain't gonna lie, I think this is the best one out of all of them. Even the faces on the figure right now, I feel like this is definitely the best one out of all of them. Again, they did good on the 3D printing. For this to be a bootleg, it is super weird seeing these faces compared to other bootlegs I've seen in the past. Like, they are super good. We're gonna speed through the hands, because at this point, I'm tired of seeing them. We pretty much had the same hands with almost every figure artist at this point. You get those big key blast hands. We see almost on any figure artist figure at this point they are actually done pretty well. Um, no molding issues or nothing like that on them. We do have, again, some more key blast hands. These ones are a little bit different. These one a little bit more closed. Again, they were done pretty good all the way around. Um, coming into these hands, which again, we have more key blast hands. This is pretty much the hand motion he used with the key blast to kill Frieza after he had chopped them up into pieces. They're actually doing pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. This one does have a little spot on it, but other than that, they done decently. And then the last hands we do have, I'm not even gonna do these ones because they're pretty much the exact same as these. Matter of fact, they're the only differences and these are for the sword. These ones have a little bit more of an open look to it. And then these ones right here are more closed as compared to 
the ones right here. So we do have the hands that you can use to hold the sword itself. Again, they're done pretty well. There's nothing to complain about with those. And yeah, man, I'll pretty much wrap up the accessories. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't seen these hands and all that for about a million times. So I get tired of doing this, but of course I'm gonna do it for y'all. But um, if I had to rank the accessories, I'm not gonna lie. The faces look super good. The hands are done well. The sheath is done nicely. It's just some issues with the paint, like the hair, um, the clumping on the hair, and then well, that's honestly really it. The clumping and there's some run spots right here on this. But other than that, everything else is decent. It looks good. And of course, this is the wrong color. But like I said, other than that, it's decent. If I had to rank the accessories all together, I would give it probably a... I say an eight out of 10, man. It'd probably be a 10 out of 10 if it didn't have the messed up hair and the wrong color on this. So I'll get the accessories an eight out of 10, not too bad. But without further ado, let's go and get to the figure itself. And here we are, the actual figure itself. Now I'm not gonna lie, straight up, I do see some problems with this figure off rip. Now they're not terrible or nothing like that, but it nonetheless does have a little bit of issues that I can see with my eyes as of right now. So jumping into the paint detail on the figure, I'm not gonna lie. It does look good, bro. They did good on it. It's just, you could definitely tell it's a bootleg with some of the areas on this figure. For instance, if you take a look right here on the chest, there is a whole gap of plastic missing, almost like the mold was messed up. Um, The paint right here on the chest is a little too light. As you can see, you can kind of still see the black bleeding through on the chest. Um, It also is slightly off compared to the neck itself, the color. Um, that is not as bad with my own eyes looking at it, but it is a slight different color on the chest than the neck. Then we get into the belt, and as you can see on the belt, it is horribly painted on the side with the yellow. I ain't gonna lie, that is done roughly. But at the end of the day, it is a bootleg, so I can't be too mad about it. Um, Coming out to the boots, the boots are not done too bad. I ain't gonna lie to you. They decent for what it is. Um, I don't see anything wrong with them. The legs are also fine as far as paint. There's nothing really wrong with the legs or anything like that. Only big issue again is the belt has a little bit of paint issues right here on the side. Um, again, the torso. You know, another one I didn't talk about again with that rough hair. Like you can see it's just painted badly. It's super chunky looking. It doesn't look that bad in person or even when it's a good distance away. But as you can see, it definitely has some chunkiness going to it. It is not smoothly painted by any means. Another thing I'm noticing is it is missing the shading, which I'm not tripping about that considering figure arts barely does shading anymore anyway. But besides that, the face on it actually does look good. Again, they did good with all the faces. The center it's a bootleg. I'm really surprised about that one because the lines, the line work and all that, it's done perfectly. The faces are done perfectly. But again, you do have them paint mishaps on here. But as far as those issues with the paint, um, as far as the outside paint and detail, uh, I would rank it, honestly, I would say, I would say at least a six. I see, yeah, I give it like a six and a half out of 10 because it's super, it's just, it's just a little stuff like this to be, it just looks disgusting. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's, it's just super ugly. It's kind of hard to not see it when you do have official figures and the paint's done perfectly. Um, so that is ugly to see when it's real chunky like this and then the hair again, Super chunky. So, I, like I said, I will give it a six and a half out of 10 as far as the paint detail, because all the colors is right on it. It looks perfectly fine as far as the colors being right on the figure. And then again, the face looks good. But when it comes to like the chunkiness on the belt area, the chunkiness in the hair, it just, you can tell it was sloppily done. But it is, at the end of the day, again, it's a bootleg. So, paint detail, I would definitely be giving it a six and a half out of 10. With that being said, let's get into the articulation. Now, honestly, this is going to be the interesting area for me, and it's also going to be the most terrifying because I actually do want to use this in my collection. I'm not going to lie. That's what I got it for. This is where most bootlegs end up going wrong. They just start falling apart and all that. So, we're going to see, man. We're going we're gonna to go get into it. The first thing we'll take a look at, well, first of all, before I even get into anything else, I want to see. Yeah, no. Nah. I can tell you right now, as of right now, actually pulling on it, it does not have the arm issue that the actual official one does have. With off rip, we already don't have the arm problem. Another thing I want to check, ain't that crazy? When you pay $20 and you don't got no floppy legs going, ain't that just crazy, bro? When you pay 67 and your figure can't even stand, that's, that's just crazy. So off rip, 
we do not have the loose leg issue. We don't have the arm problem, but that's not saying we're not gonna have any problems when I do get fully into the articulation. So let's get into it. Head does go up about that much. That was a problem on the actual one. That was a problem on the official one too. And that's because this collar right here really blocks it from doing much. So you don't really get much up going down. You do get quite a bit. You do get some good pivot of the neck, which is not too bad. Coming down to the arms, they do come up about that much. Now I am trying, I ain't feeling a lie. I am trying to be as careful as I can be. I'm not being too careful with it. I definitely want to be honest with it, but I am going to be semi careful with it for some fact that bro, a lot of people be in these reviews with bootlegs and just be manhandling it when obviously it's a bootleg. It's common sense that you need to be soft with it. Like it's, it's just common sense. But nonetheless, arms do go up about that much. Um, They do, oh my God. Well, that's why I don't have the arm problem because I know y'all can hear that, bro. I'm not gonna keep twisting that, but it does twist right here at the bicep. So it does have that articulation. It's just super tight. Right here, we do have super good double joint elbows. The wrist itself does hinge and pivot as far as the actual butterfly joints. Now I am noticing that all the joints on this thing is super stiff. So I'm trying to be as careful as possible. The butterfly joints do work really good, which is ridiculous for the simple fact that again, this is a bootleg. So you do have those there. Coming down to the torso, we do get, I ain't gonna lie, it ain't got no type of articulation going for it. I don't know what that's about. I don't know if the original, I can't remember if it did that. Well, we get some, it's not that good. So going forward, you don't really get too much. Going back, not really get much either. Does twist at the waist. Coming down to the legs, we do kick up. Okay, I hear something cracking, I ain't finna lie. We're, we're just... <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I heard something cracking, but as you can see, um, that is insane. And it's holding that too. Like, this is a bootleg, bro. Tamashi, what is y'all doing? Like, what, what happened to that? It was at Vietnam shop, I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all right now. As you can see, he do kick all the way up. He can go even more. I'm just not gonna push it because I ain't gonna lie, I heard a crack and it already terrified me as it is coming back down. What is cracking? What, what is that? It doesn't go back at all, but the Goku I have that's on the same 3.0 body doesn't either. So that is normal. This leg does go up, bro. That is insane. That is insane. That is, look, 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 look at that. Look at that, bro. Look at that. Y'all is gonna have to put respect on his name, bro. Look, I know y'all seen this, look. Put some respect on my name. It is a, it's a blue leg, bro. It is, a, it is a bootleg. Like, that is insane. Like, I'm both one, confused and disappointed in the actual figure arts one. That is just insane. Y'all seen it, great leg articulation. Let's see if it does have the double jointed. Right, it does have the double jointed knees. Um, It's just super tight, so I'm not gonna keep pushing it. Some of these joints really do need to be heated up, but I honestly rather have them super tight than to be super loose. Pause. But um, they do work nonetheless. They just, again, they are super tight. Coming out to the feet, we do have ankle pivot, which, bro, there's no way this is a bullet. Like, I'm confused right now. We do have crazy ankle pivot, as you can see. Um, You don't have much. Oh, actually, I'm lying. I'm straight up lying, bro. What in the... F I ain't gonna lie. I I'd be lying to y'all if I said I wasn't confused, but you have a lot. <laughs> you have a lot of range of motion in the feet itself, toe joint does work um it doesn't get up too high but it does work nonetheless and yeah man i pretty much wrap up the articulation i'm not finna lie bro my mind is just completely blown like, i'm kind of sitting here just still trying to gather all my thoughts right now because bro there is no way that this should be one of the joints as tight as it is. i don't care it was worth it I ain't even finna do all that rambling or nothing. This straight up was worth it, bro. I paid 67, probably, I think it was like 71 after tax. Um, I did get them both for the Vegeta both times, but point is, paid almost 70 something twice and got straight garbage, bro. Like the thing literally cannot stand up. Arm literally fell out every single time I put it in the pose. Bro, I'm trying to wrap my head around this. This is a bootleg, like, they is getting better, bro. That is insane. Another thing before I even get out of the articulation that I love that they did, because I just was talking about this in the Goku video. 
they stuck with the 3.0 Gohan legs instead of using the actual Trunks one. The Trunks one's like the Goku one. It comes up and cuts right here and it just looks super stupid. It looks like cargo pants. I straight up think that it looks better. I'm not even gonna lie to you, but if I had to rate the articulation, I ain't even gonna lie, I'd give it a 10 out of 10. I straight up, it, besides the joints being stiff, then there's literally nothing wrong. And then that's easy to fix. You just heat it up. You either use boiling water or use a hair dryer and you can heat it up and boom, it's fixed. But bro, everything is perfectly articulated. It holds poses. The legs are not loose at all. I just can't wrap my head around. So I straight up get the articulation of 10 out of 10. I ain't even finna waste y'all's time with that. But with that being said, let me go ahead and try. I ain't even gonna lie. I told y'all I was gonna do this. Cause again, this is a bootleg. So things are different with this one. I don't really be tripping off of doing this with the official releases, but okay. Did they glue this joint on there? Like what the, I know they didn't glue this joint on there. Oh no, it's not glue, it's just super, again, everything's super tight on here. There we go. Pop that off. Let's see if it do, what am I doing? Let's see if it goes in. And boom, as you can see, it does work. And that actually looks good, bro. This is a book. Can somebody please, bro, this is a bullet. Like, I'm trying to, my brain is not comprehending right now. I'm telling you right now, it's just not. It looks super good, bro. I ain't gonna lie, it does look good. Again, it does have that clunkiness to the paint, but bro, put it in the distance and boom, you scrape. So the hair piece does work on it. Let's try a hand on it. Um, This is an area where you gotta be careful with these because they will pop off and break. It does pop off easily. Attempt to put a key blast hand on it. Let me see if I can get it on there. I might have to heat the hands up because again, I mean, if you're using your brain when it comes to a bootleg, you can't be rough with them or they are going to break. And boom, without even having to heat it up. That's, that's insane, bro. That is insane. So hands do work. That is crazy, bro. Hands do pop on, as you can see. Last thing I'll try, I will try a different face to see if they do fit on there. Snug. We'll put on the peep grit and face if I can get it on there. Boom, as you can see, <laughs> that is insane, bro. I can't even, I can't, I can't wrap my head around this. As you can see, fits on perfectly fine. I'm not gonna try to put the sword and the extra head on right now for the simple fact that I know I'm gonna have to do extra heating up for all that and that's just gonna take way too long. But consider everything else fits, I'm, Pretty sure that this will fit on there. Um, like I said, I just know I'm gonna have to heat it up because as you can see, there is some extra molding right there. So it would be a super tight fit pause. So I'm just gonna be over here struggling for 50 minutes straight and I don't got time for it. Yeah, man, as you can see, the accessories definitely do work. But before I go, let me go ahead and do a size comparison with obviously do one with Vegeta. And then we can also throw in Saiyan Rays on our Goku. And as you can see, I feel like he's definitely perfectly scaled as compared to the actual official one. Um, he's just a little bit, I say slightly shorter, if not almost the same height as Goku. And that is anime accurate. His body mass is also a little bit smaller than Goku, which again, also anime accurate. The official one on the other hand will make this one look like a child. But as you can see, he scales perfectly with Goku. And then he also scales perfectly with his pops, which is Vegeta. As you can see, Vegeta is a little bit shorter. And I feel like that's perfectly scaled compared to the anime. And yeah, man, that'll pretty much wrap up the whole review. Now, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I got so many questions about this figure. This thing is just weird to me. Considering I definitely did not expect it to be this good. And I'm really glad I went the route I did instead of buying yet another transfer to be yet another pile of garbage. So yeah, man, this one just blew me away. I'm not even finna lie to y'all, bro. I honestly feel like it's right behind my legendary Super Saiyan Goku with the articulation. That's also on that 3.0 body. Um, The legs y'all seen just gets crazy amount of range. And again, all the joints on this thing is tight. Bro, Tamashi, what is y'all doing, bro? This is a bootleg. This is not Demonical Fit. This is not Kong Studios. This is an actual bootleg, bro. And it's better with the articulation than the actual figure. Like, man, if I had to rank this thing, bro, I'm gonna be straight up. I give it an eight and a half out of 10. I'm not gonna lie. And the only reason that I give it an eight and a half out of 10 is because some of the areas on it are super sloppy, like the belt paint and then the hair paint on it. Everything else is on point, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. The, the color of the figure itself is on point. 
I feel like the size of it is better than the official release. I like how they did the legs on this one with the Gohan legs better than the actual one. And again, that insane articulation with the joints actually holding up. Like, make it make sense, bro. So I 100% get this thing an 8.5 out of 10. It is definitely a good figure. I'm glad that I did pick this up instead of getting another one of the trunks just for it to be trash. I am glad that I ended up picking this up and I will probably ain't gonna lie. Be ordering a whole nother one just to use the base forehead so I have two trunks. And again, all I did was pay $20 for this, man. That definitely beats paying 70 for something that's garbage. Like, so yeah, man, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm not gonna sit here and recommend it to y'all because at the end of the day, it's a bootleg and I'd feel bad for like recommending something and then y'all order one and y'all ends up falling apart or something like that. But from mine, my personal experience with mine, this thing is a good figure. I'm not finna sugarcoat it. Articulation is perfect. Faces are perfect on it. 3D print is perfect. We do have a little bit of issues with the paint, but overall, I can overlook that. It's nothing too bad, especially when you're at a good distance. Yeah, man, to me, a great figure. I'm not gonna lie. So with all the information I gave y'all, like I said, I gave it an eight and a half out of 10. It's a great figure. I'm definitely glad that I personally picked it up. So with the information I gave you in this review, do whatever you want with it. If you want to pick one up, then go ahead and do that. If you don't want to pick one up, then don't do that. I can't sit here and recommend it to y'all, but just for my opinion, Perfect figure to me, I ain't gonna lie. And with that being said, y'all let me know what y'all think about down in the comments. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like. You new, make sure you subscribe. Till then, I'm out. Stay tuned.